Hi guys, my name is Kauton and I'm going to teach you how to update uh, string file. You could be updating it because there were some excavation which we had done. Again, let's start. I select the folder which have my uh, data is my uh, working directory. Then from there, I drag the after jig. Then I drag the jig so that I can see where the area ends. If, if the data fits to each other, I see that it fits perfectly. So I go to layers, then I go to before jig. If you can see before, there is in sort of an eye, you like you left click it so that it closes like this. But when you want to open it, you just click it again. Then I click it to close. Then I select you have to make sure that the tick is on the one that you are working on. In this case, I want it on the tick. Then after that, I want to create a boundary where the excavation ends, the one that is written jig, which is this. So I go to a snap to point. You have to make sure that you're snapping on point so that uh, you will be able to get the boundary. Then you go to new, then I create a folder, a, sorry, a string called bound, then I apply. That's a new string. Then I make sure that the tick is on the bound screen correct then you go to create digitize then properties you select the string number that you want in this case i want eight then i say apply then i go back to create then i say digitize new point so you start and i'm starting going in this case i'm going clockwise i'll be a bit faster so that the video can be short so you might find that I've been skipping some points, but it doesn't matter. This one is for learning purposes. And right now, if you have noticed, uh, the string color for the for the boundary looks like the string color that's already there in the dig. So I might have to change it when I finish digitizing. So when you are about to, to go back to the first point you just go to close string with the current string then you say apply after that i go back to layers then to the eye to the dig then i mark it so that i can see if the, the boundary is closed so you can see the boundary is closed and now to change the boundaries the, the string, boundary string uh number you go to edit then I go to string, then I say to segment, sorry. Then I say renumber. I select the segment. Then I renumber it to, let's say, nine. Then I apply. Now, then I save. I save my boundary. Apply. I hit restart, reset graphics so that you can have a fresh spine. Then I drag the boundary and the before. Now I'm dragging the before. So you can see that's where the boundary is. Oh, it's in a color that you will see. So now I'm now trying to, I'm now editing the before dig. So you go to ed edit, then you go to trim. Then you say trim by selected segment. Then you say apply then you have to make sure that again on this where the written layers it the tick is on the before dig that's the one that you want to work in so i go to delete segment i want it to be deleted partially so that you can delete only the things that is are inside then i go to inside or outside in this case i want inside if you want outside you can select outside but for this people want inside then we say apply then from there you select the boundary then it has been deleted then you say cancel then from there i'm now saving the before dig then i save it as the after dig so that we have another new string then i say after dig 
like it is now i say apply then it has been saved then i go back again to reset and reset i drag the after dig now instead of the before dig as you can see you have this page where there is no data because we have deleted we have deleted it then you select the dig then you drag it as you can see the dig now fits on the uh after data after a dig now uh what you do you select the after dig the, the one that you want to edit as your working directory then you close it so that it's in it's not visible like this but you'll be working in it then you go to edit then you say segment as a string sorry copy then you go to string copy then you select the one that you want to copy in this case i want to copy this one then it's written 98 so i'll copy it as it is so it's saying from layer dig string 98 to layer uh, after dig string 98 then i say apply then i say edit again string copy and then i select the one that i want to copy then it's eight i apply i can select the one the blue one it's two then i say apply uh if you do vice versa here it won't copy and it will be a mess anyway from there i open reopen my string then i close the dig as you can see the information is still there then i save apply yes now we go to display for the now restart, restart reset sorry then you go to after dig again this is now our after dig i go to display then i say point attributes then i apply after applying as you can see we have the original tools that's why it's, uh we can inquire just to see uh the properties you can do this on your own so for me i know the crest the color and everything after inquiring you can actually tell which color is the crest and which one is the tool or by naming so for editing this data now it's on one place i want it to have the same color it's all up to me but anyway that's how you edit it you can go to edit then string renumber then you renumber the one that you want to or to renumber anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed uh watching my video uh, make sure to subscribe and like so that you can keep continue making other videos like this uh thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it see you in the next video then you save your information apply then set now it's done